Attention please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles. G Patrol. Follow us. Finally home. What Alex doesn't know is that while he's away at boot camp, my team came in and did a complete makeover of his house to fit his new lifestyle. Welcome home, my man. Uh, <laughs> what in the world is happening yes. here? This is crazy. This is your gym. Wow. That old environment. It really was his den where he just sat, watched TV, and drank and ate. We turned it into this incredible new gym, and it was all his. Look around and see the pictures in the room. Right above the fireplace, I put a picture of his mom. Thanks, man. She's right here with you. Always. Seeing the picture up there reminds me I have an angel on my side. Yeah, so this is your new kitchen. I needed to set Alex up with all the tools for food preparation. I had the team come through and clean out all the junk food. You will not find an ounce of junk food in this house. I think it's a lot for Alex to take in because his whole world is about to change. But the first thing that we need to do is establish that goal for the first phase. Hey, let's talk about the first three months. And I'm going to give you a goal to focus on for those first three months. Okay. And it, it's a big goal, but very attainable, very reasonable. All right, this is your goal board right here. Your three-month goal. 100 pounds. Wow. This is insane. If you do hit 100 pounds in three months, just as a big reward for you, I'm going to give you season tickets to the Braves. Shut up. He loves you. No way. That, oh, my yeah. God. That's amazing, man. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. This is not just about Alex losing weight. It's about his mental and his emotional transformation. We will see a completely new Alex come out of his shell. You ready? I'm ready. So for the next 90 days, I'm actually going to move in with Alex. Uh, we're going to get some sleep right now. Of course, I got my, my bed set up here. I need to be there 24 hours a day just to make sure that he truly understands the process. Here we go. Go, clock's ticking. Hit, push. It's a hands-on approach. I'm really going to teach Alex everything that he needs to know to implement this new lifestyle. This is about training the new Alex. That's what I'm looking for. Push. Hold it there. Since we started this program, the tough times I go through are mostly mentally. You're sitting there thinking about, you know, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to do it? I don't think I can do it. So I want to just quit. I can do it! Yes, you can. Say it again. I can do it! Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm really impressed. So far, Alex is really pushing himself. He's taken all of my direction, and he's running with it. Good. 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 Here we go. Let me see if you can push it. to basically change my whole lifestyle. Get it out. That's it. That's it. I don't know. It just felt really good today. Almost a uh, three-month weigh-in. I am so nervous about it. Alex, coming in, bud. You know what time it is? Yes, I do. Way in time. Way in time. Now, the first time that you stepped on that scale, at the Institute, it said 459 pounds. And I gave you a phase one goal to lose 100 pounds in 12 weeks. So if this scale says 359 pounds or less, you hit your goal. So how do you think you did, just based on the last 12 weeks? I, I think I might have hit it. Yeah, I'll agree with you. There really is a good chance. All right, to find out what that number is? Oh, yeah. Take a deep breath, step on the scale. Now, the first time that you stepped on that scale, it said 459 pounds. And your 90-day goal is 100 pounds. So if this scale says 359 pounds or less, you hit your goal. It fell three pounds short.
What do you think when you see that number? Disappointing. Somebody sets a goal, you want to hit it. But 97 pounds, it's not like I missed it by 40. No, exactly. Look how far you've come. 97 pounds, like, that's fantastic. But Alex, use falling short three pounds as motivation for the next three months. Alex lost 97 pounds, and yeah, he fell short of his 100-pound goal, so I couldn't give him the season ticket to the Braves. But you know, I mean, just falling three pounds short, he deserves something. So I wanted to take Alex to at least one Braves game before I left town. Dude, Braves Clubhouse. Come on, man. What's going on, man? How you doing? David Ross. Nice to meet you, man. Checked out the cages yet? Come on in. Come on, check it out. It was so awesome for all the players to come up and congratulate Alex and show him all this respect for what he's going through. It's been three months, lost 100 pounds. What? Yeah. yeah. Sweet, dude. Congrats, bro. Congratulations to you, man. Keep rolling. Appreciate it. Ski, you lost 100 pounds in three months. It's pretty cool that they're impressed by me because I'm, I've always been impressed by them. So, I mean, I definitely think it'll help push me that much harder to get to my goal and beat the next one. Keep working hard, man. Keep working hard. So, man, it's been really cool. Can't get any better than being at the ballpark. Well, it's been three months, and it's time for me to leave, Alex. Your goal in this next phase, the next 90 days, is to lose five pounds a week. Doable. You know how to do it. You've got all the tools. 60 pounds overall. It's going to be cake, I'm just saying. Your phase two goal coincides perfectly with your dad's wedding. Really? So, you ready? Yep. It's time for me to leave. Time for you to take this on your own, my man. It's time for me to prove to myself that I have what it takes to do it myself. It's different being on my own without Chris because I have to mentally get myself up for everything, just me doing it, not having somebody there pushing me. You know, the biggest challenge is staying mentally focused. I got down about the four month mark. I'd have a lot of time to think by myself thinking about my mom, I was just missing her a lot. I don't think I've recaptured the focus that I had at the beginning. It's starting to get really annoying. In the last little bit, I haven't truly been motivated. Hopefully, the motivation will be refound within the next couple days because I really want to hit my next goal. It's been about six weeks since I left Alex, and just to make sure that he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, I installed security cameras in his house. So today, I'm going to check in on him and make sure that he's following protocol. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. He should be an hour into his cardio already. Dude, it's 6 o'clock. What are you doing playing video games? You got to be training right now. Alex is a 24-year-old kid who refuses to grow up. He wants to play video games. He doesn't want to work. He doesn't want to do anything. He can choose to be a winner. He can choose to be a successor. He can choose to be a failure. And whichever one he chooses, that's what he's going to be. What's up, man? What's going on, man? Nothing much. How you doing? Well, I came out for your dad's wedding, but it also happens to be the six-month mark. What do you say we just get that weigh-in out of the way so we can get in there and enjoy the rest of this day? Uh, you ready? Yeah. All right. When I first saw him, I, I saw a difference. I can tell that he's lost weight, um, but it's, it's just, it's hard to say how much. I've been watching the surveillance cameras at home, and, and based on what I saw, it looks like you're struggling, and I want to know what's going on. Honestly, when I was doing my cardio, like, there's a lot of time to think when you're by yourself. And I started really uh, missing my mom. Mm -hmm. I would get to thinking about her, and then I would start thinking about my dad and this wedding, and he's just forgetting okay. about my mom. Mm -hmm. And I would get sad, and I would get angry, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to feel either of those, so I would just retreat into something that I didn't have to think about. I know you feel like um, your mom is being forgotten in this, but your mom truly loved your dad, right? And he truly loved her. She would want him to be happy no matter what. And what does your mom want for you? 
She's always wanted me to be healthy. This is your year. This is your journey. This is about the rest of your life. I just want phase two to be over with. I want to clean slate, start at phase three, and knock it out of the park. Last time that you stepped on a scale, you read 362 pounds. And I gave you the goal to lose 60 pounds over the last three months. So if this scale says 302 pounds or less, you hit your goal. Go ahead and step on the scale. It's not 302. No, it's not 302. It's pretty far from.